Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our first personal break of the evening. And we do have one booster box here of Weiss Schwartz, Sword Art Online, Alicization Volume 2 for William H. from Vermont. So thank you so much, William, for letting me open up this box for you here on the channel. And also want to give you an extra special thank you for being our newest Gem Mint fan. Really appreciate you upgrading from certified to Gem Mint fan. Thank you very much. But yes, do have this booster box here of Weiss Schwartz, Sword Arts, Alicization Volume 2. And this is box, I think, number three or so of a fresh case. And we have yet to see any SBs, any OFRs, or even any double foil boxes come out of this case just quite yet. So, like I said, I think this is just box number three here. We opened up two boxes for Jason on Saturday night. This was supposed to be opened up Saturday night as well, but we were having some issues, and William just went ahead and let me open it up today. So, I'm very excited to see what we can find. Maybe our first SP of the case, maybe something even serial numbered. Let's just go ahead and jump on into it while I talk to you guys about something upcoming that's pretty important. So, let's snap ourselves into the corner and get started. Now, Allie, what could you possibly be talking about that is important? Well, if you click on that little button right up there, it'll take you to the event page for this Thursday's upcoming exclusive preview where I'll be revealing some stuff from the upcoming English edition original set of Weiss, Ruby. So yes, the Ruby set that is releasing on December 17th. I do have some things to show you as a little sneak peek, so it'd be great if you guys could tune in. That will be premiering here on the channel this Thursday, the 18th, at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you go check that out. Hit that little notification over there so you don't miss it when that goes live on Thursday. But our promo here of this box is Making Sweet Desserts Asana. And let's get started. But you guys, I was super excited when Bushi Road reached out to give me that preview. So definitely another amazing experience. Uh, with previewing cards, definitely got me to finally learn how to play wise. I, I've been saying, oh, I'll learn how to play eventually. You know, I've had my card captor set since 2018, but we already have an SR here in this box. The last piece, Ugo. Is that a different art than the regular card? We'll see. I think the last piece is a regular rare. Might be slightly different, or it's just because the background is so dark that it's throwing me off. I like how he has, he's reaching out, and he has the... Seems a little ominous. I'm like, oh no, what's going on? Is Ugo kidnapping us to another world? Are we? Are we? Uh, is he awaking us from a deep slumber? What's going on here? Because I, I, I've never seen sword art. Just so you guys know, I have no context for this. A little, little nerve wracking. Looking at this card, it says together to wherever it takes us. I don't know. I feel like Ugo is trying to kidnap us. I don't know about that one, dude. But it is a gorgeous card. They really love the texture in the background. Just the regular card, I don't know if it looks the same or maybe just a slightly different background. But alrighty, pack one, we have a foil. I feel like that leaves us with pretty good chances to find another in the box. Of course, you could have last two packs have two foils, but it feels like if you hit one pretty early on, you have more packs to go through to see if you find another one. Like I said, it, it doesn't really change anything, but I feel like boxes, typically if it has one early, has another foil. So maybe... Maybe an OFR or an SP here for William, or perhaps just another SR or a triple R. But yeah, very excited to see what we have in this box. We've also not seen any of these serial numbered cards. Uh, those are quite expensive and of course quite rare. But would love to pull one here on the channel. It'd be so cool to hold one in my hands. It'd be so cool. But speaking of so cool, I, uh, I am thrilled for you guys to finally see this video. Finally see this video on Thursday. So, like I said, if you guys want to tune in for that, our first ever Y Shorts preview here on the channel. We have a rare Goddess of Creation Stacia Asuna for that upcoming set, Ruby. Quintuplets should be releasing on Friday. And by should be, I mean it is releasing on Friday, but there have been a few shipping delays. I know Bushiro did send an email about a week, week and a half ago, saying some stores might be getting it late. Typically, our Weiss ships out on Monday to arrive on the Wednesday prior to release date. So release date being Friday. Night Sky Clad Hero Kirito is our first double R box. Quintuplets did not ship today, but we will have it on Friday as long as it ships by Wednesday. So there is a few day buffer if it arrives to Southern Hobby a bit late. But I'll, I'll start getting a little bit nervous tomorrow if it doesn't ship. But then again, of course, as long as it ships on Wednesday. We do have several personal breaks scheduled for Saturday night of Quintuplet. So in that case, as long as it ships by Thursday, it will be here. But 
Hopefully everything just comes in tomorrow and it's sent out tomorrow. And that would make my life a lot easier. We have straight pinup Asana and Alice Rare. I know shipping all over the place. There's stuff being delayed. I have already started holiday shopping. I'm actually nearly finished with all my holiday shopping. I like to start planning stuff out an unreasonable amount of time early. Unreasonable, like, like March. Start thinking, like, oh, maybe this year, what should I do? Uh, but I, I'm almost finished, so. I just enjoy gifting. I just, I just like coming up with stuff that I think will make somebody really happy and then give it to them and be like, what do you think? What do you think? I, I just love the holidays for that particular reason. I just, I don't know. I'm not too much on receiving gifts. Sometimes I feel awkward, which I always appreciate when I'm given stuff, but I feel, I, I'm always stressed out whether I'm reacting the way they want me to, which I don't expect people to react a certain way. I just want to see them happy. So I don't know why I put unreasonable standards to myself, like for the perfect reaction to gifts, but. I'm also very bad about thinking about what I would want as a gift. Most of the stuff I pick up, either it's I have a checklist of cards for a set I want to complete, or I'm just looking on eBay for like new Star Wars sketch listings. And I'm like, that looks nice. Add the card. Like, I'm not really considering much or like, oh, I think I should pick this up at some point. So I'm not, not the easiest to get stuff for, unfortunately. We have Double R as his little sister, Leafa. I do like receiving gifts, but also, like I said, I feel awkward when I get stuff sometimes. Which I always appreciate the male specials, but the male specials do worry me a little bit. Because I'm always like, what if they thought I'd be more excited or more of this or more that? And it's just, I don't know. But I always appreciate when any viewers send me gifts. Like I said, just sometimes I'm worried about it being too awkward. Thankfully, one thing is why I don't like opening the mail live, just in case there's anything, anything odd. I know sometimes other streamers slash youtubers slash influencers if you want to call me that that's technically what the irs calls me so irs says i'm an influencer so yeah i know sometimes they get odd things in the mail so that's why i always record the mail specials just in case yeah, i can always cut something out but thankfully that hasn't happened it's all been wonderful gifts mainly people just be like oh, i have these lightning cards i don't want here you go and i'm like awesome that's sick which is really what the mail start, the uh, mail opening started as, but always super cool, always super cool. See, I feel like I've, I've dug myself a hole by saying I'm awkward about gifts. I do appreciate it. I do like it. Now I feel like I'm just begging for gifts. Anyways, moving on. If I'm going to beg for you guys to do anything, it's to tune in for that preview on Thursday. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I really like the cards that I am previewing. And I'm curious, I haven't been able to keep up. I've been I've been super swamped these past few weeks. I know there's been a couple cards on Facebook. I remember seeing the I already seen a few SPs. I remember seeing a few of them. A few SPs. I, I, I know I saw two of them. I'm not sure if I saw two more. Because I would assume all of the main cast has. But I, I didn't get to read them. I remember seeing the images. But overall, I haven't been able to review the set or take a look to see. Because I feel like what I was looking at, I was like, this seems, based on my very limited knowledge, these seem like some really nice cards. I like I like, I like the text. I like what they do. But I want to check the rest of the set to see if there's even more combos out there. And I'm just really curious if the cards are going to be played. If that makes sense. Like, I'm happy regardless whether it's like a tier one. Or like tier five card, but I'm just excited to share with you guys. And I hope those of you that do play Wise, because I know there's a good segment of people that watch Wise openings that started off as only collectors. That's how I started. Now, now I know how to play. Now I'm eyeballing even more so that 400 count box of card captor. And I'm like, you know, I could just make a deck and then have it. Eventually I will make a deck. I have the cards to be able to make one. It's just now a matter of I know how to play. Now it's to learn how to deck build. But it can sneak up on you. One day you'll be like, I have all these wise cards laying around. I should play. Next thing you know, you're a pro wise player. I don't know if it actually works like that. But I know a lot of people just collect the cards because they like the arts. It's like their favorite show. Maybe they're not into playing TCGs. But where you could just be like and and being like, I love quintuplets. I love sword art. I love slime. Yes, I have to make master sets. <laughs> like I said, I get it, because that, that's how I started off. But So 
So those of you that do play Weiss, if you could tune in on Thursday and let me know your thoughts. Those of you who are just straight up fans of Ruby, let me know your thoughts on the design. And maybe even if you're new to Weiss, first impressions. First impressions of what I talk about. Allie, that sounds crazy. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know, when I describe some of the effects. So I'm just excited. I'm just excited. I've been saying excited a lot today. Excited is my word of the day. It's been an exciting day. Anyways, Incarnation of Nihilism, Gabriel Rare. And last two packs here. I mean, pack one did have that UGO, but we haven't seen any other foils since. Let's see. Maybe you can just pull that $10,000 Asana. That'd be cool. Just boom, there you go. That would be, I don't even know what I would do at that point. It's like, do I just drive up to Vermont and be like, here you go, William. I have no idea. Never pulled anything that expensive. Which is a little odd to think. If, if we do end up pulling that number one of 10 serial numbered Asana, may, maybe here in this final pack, it would be the most expensive card I've ever touched. But we're ending things off here with another double R, Joint Battle, Asana, and Alice. And I must say, I'm actually surprised. I'm legitimately surprised. I thought we would have our first double foil box here for William, but we got that first pack. First pack, last piece, Eugeo. Let's, let's see, did we have a regular UGO here? We did not, so check, like I said, if it's different. I feel like the background might just be darker in the foil, and that's why I'm not 100% recognized in the art. Since I'm holding them, though, since I went to straighten up the pile, uh, let's do a recap here of our double R's. Did have Joint Battle, Asuna, and Alice, together with a Memory, Asuna, and Yuki. Leafa as his little sister. Light That Penetrates Darkness, Sinon. And Night Sky Clad Hero, Kirito, for our five double R's. Foil of the box was the last piece, Yujiyo. And our promo of the box was Making Sweet Desserts, Asuna. And with that, that does wrap off this opening here for William. Thank you so much, William, for letting me open up some wise for you here on the channel. Really hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Whether this is a start to your collection or a continuation, really hope that you love all of these new cards. All of you out there watching, of course, I hope you enjoyed this opening as well. So if you did, don't forget to go on ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, drop those down below. If you could pick any series to have a Y short set come out made after it, let me know what it would be in the comment section down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so, of course, that you don't miss that preview on Thursday. I believe everybody should get a notification when it, the premiere starts. They would schedule as a premiere, but you might have to go... Like I said, I linked it earlier. I think if you're on desktop, if you hover in this corner, it should pop up again. Now go over there if you need to click any buttons to make sure it notifies you once again. I know they do show up in the subscription tab, but it might not pop up on your YouTube homepage. I don't know. It's a little odd. A little odd. I, I don't get to use YouTube anywhere besides my phone that much anymore, so unfortunately I don't have any information for you guys on where... If you don't go through any, any hoops... Where to find that preview? Like I said, easiest way, go click on there. Add it to your like videos already. Anyways, I'm super excited for that on Thursday. But do we have any more Weiss until then? I don't think so. I don't think we'll have any more Weiss until Thursday. Because, of course, not shipping today. Quintuplets won't be here on Wednesday. So if it does come in on time, I'll be opening it up on Friday. Or maybe even our first look on Saturday night. So I think this is our only Weiss until Thursday. So make sure to tune back in. But yes, that does it here for this video. I already told you guys like and subscribe because I'm cringe. But before I get on out of here, also have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have 12 Black Label fans, Anton, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Devon, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Sotari, Mark Mardini, MD, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also have 10 Gem Mint fans. Alberto M, Barco Verer, Dusty Archuleta, Jerry Geek, Michael C, Michael Bigelow, Ryan Michael, Scorecard Collectibles, Sinvicta, and William Hastings. But thank you so much to all of our channel members. And of course, all members do have their names on screen at the end of every video. With that, that does it for me here in this one. This is our only Weiss of the evening. Like I said, only Weiss for a few days. So make sure you guys tune back in on Thursday afternoon slash morning, depending on what U.S. time zone you're in, or of course, wherever you may be across the world. 
Alley worldwide. But yeah, that does it for me here in this video. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!